you may have noticed that working with AutoCAD is unlike working with any type of uh, drawing that you've done before. It's not like working with paper, not in the slightest. You'll notice the first thing I, I guess about this drawing is that lots of the lines and lots of the detail are all in different colours. So we've got the outside of our drawing here, the outside um, shape is actually in a sort of an orange colour. The hidden detail on the inside is this green dashed line. The centre line is blue and the, the, um, the dimensions are red. So everything there is a different colour and I guess the best way to describe this would be it's a little bit like you're viewing this as the output of an, uh, an overhead projector where there are several sheets of acetate each one containing separate information okay so one of those sheets just holds the information for the outside shape one of them will hold the information just for the dashed lines and we can we can view each one of these separately or we can view them as we are here all together now of course the advantage with this is that you can view large amounts of data uh, and have it have that data within your drawing but not actually have to have it visible at the time so you know if you're running a lesser computer that can be good uh, if you've got a lot of detail like this to me just looks a little bit crowded um, obviously this would be a manufacturing drawing but still it just looks a little bit crowded to me so we can always turn this detail off if we need to or turn off like hidden detail or center lines or things like that if we need to now to control all this we use something called the layer manager so those sheets of those those sort of sheets and layers of acetates really are layers in here now to get to the layer manager what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this icon up here it's in our home tab of our ribbon bar it's a very simple icon it's just layer properties what that's going to do is that's going to bring up my layer manager dialog now what I should be able to do hopefully is just pull out some of these names so you see there we've got status and we've got on and freeze and line oh, sorry, lock roller color uh, line line type line weight we've got a plot style we've got a plot uh, we've got you would so there's, there's various different bits and pieces here. these sort of three or four at the end um, really you want to be worrying about those a little bit later on when we come to plot and whether we're going to actually be including those in our plots or not so what I can do with this dialogue just briefly is I can pick it up and I can move it around and I can also using this auto hide option here hide it okay now I'm working in quite a low screen resolution so it may well be that quite often if I'm using this I'm going to hide this just very very quickly so I can carry on then talking about whatever I'm doing in here okay so we'll take that off for the moment and let's just talk about some of the options that we've got with inside this dialog box shall we so the most common ones you're going to be using are, are three of these four up here not necessarily that one immediately but obviously new layer okay there are going to be times when we're going to want to create a new layer so if I was to create a new layer now just by clicking that you can see it's there it's called layer one I'm going to just call that mine so we can easily distinguish it and press enter and you'll notice that that layer once it was created took on the properties of this visible layer yeah it's almost identical in color and line type and the reason for that is that the layer visible was actually our current layer and that's because it had this little green tick and you can see here we've got set current and that's it it was current if I click on mine and I want to get rid of that now I can by saying delete layer okay so the three very easy ones there create make active and delete what this one does is this creates uh, as you can see it creates a, a new layer in all the existing viewports uh, but it, it's frozen so if I was to do that what I would do is I'd be creating a new layer um, but then it's frozen in all my viewports now the viewports are in the layers mode here so we don't necessarily want to really worry about that at the moment uh, we'll come to talk about that a little bit later it can get a bit confusing otherwise um, we've got items in here for things called filters which we're going to talk about a little bit later and we've also got options for filtering our properties as well so I can create um, layers and groups where I can turn sort of whole whole sets of layers on and off based upon their properties 
Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to position myself so I can sort of see some of these layers here. And I'm going to talk about the dimensions layer just briefly because we can see those and they're red and they're nice and easy. Options that we've got here, turn the layer on or off. Okay, so there it's off, there it's on. You can see the icon changes here to be a, a turned off light bulb as opposed to a switched on light bulb. Um, that should be sort of your, your main indicator that uh, in actual fact there's, there's, um, there's something wrong with it. You know, it's been turned off, I don't want to see it. Simply by turning off in the viewport doesn't mean to say that when you come to, to plot that it won't be visible because it will. You've just turned it off in the viewport. We've got a freeze option. Now the freeze option does actually turn that layer off in the viewport and it turns it off to a plot. Okay, so there's the difference between on and freeze. Okay, if you have this switched off, you'll still plot it, but you can't see it. If you have that turned, and you can see it's a little snowflake to freeze, you'll find that you will neither be able to see nor select the layer, um, nor will you be able to plot it out. If I lock the layer, this is probably a lot, um, a lot easier to work with. I can still see the detail, but it's knocked back. By that I mean it's, it's made less obvious. Uh, I can't select anything on that layer, you can see here. Can't work with it at all. But it also means that I will be able to plot that layer. So I'll just unlock that layer, and there you go, you see everything's uh, available to me. So that's just the basic options there. We can also change the colour of the layer. Okay, so if I was to click on that red now, I've got a whole slew of colours. Now these have obviously been picked from basic colours here, but let's say I wanted to make that a bit more orange or a deeper red. There we go, I'll click OK. And you can see everything's been made a deeper red there. Uh, obviously I want to keep that fairly bright. You find with some with some draftsmen what they prefer to do is they prefer to have their dimension lines as being green and they're hidden as being a different colour. So it really just does depend on who it is who's doing the drawing. But um, you'll find that certain people have certain conventions. The, the thing to do is to find the drawing convention either in the company that you're working with or if you're working as an individual to find a, a style and then stick to it, really. So we've also got options in here with our line types and you can see that the hidden line here is one that's been loaded in. and on that, so that's on our hidden layer for our hidden detail. It's green and it's hidden. If I click on hidden, I can always load a new line type and I've got a whole load of different ISO lines that I can pick from. So we've got center lines, we've got, uh, you can see some fairly obvious center lines, um, dashed lines, we've got things that we can use for um, marking out gas lines or fencing. So yeah, quite useful, quite useful these line types. Cancel that off. And then the line weight. Now the line weight we're going to come and talk about a little bit more uh, in a minute. But what I can do is I can set the line weight. So for example, if I was doing a mechanical drawing, I might well have the outside edge of an object, object drawn in a 0.7 pencil and inside detail drawn as a 0.5 and then my dimensions drawn as a 0.3. And if I want to represent that on my plot, on my digital plot, I can do that as well by using these, um, these line weights here. So that's just an overview of using layers quickly and a little bit about the, um, the layer properties there. I'll zoom that down. See, whenever I move it, it comes back up again. And when I click away, when I move away, that should, uh, if I turn on the auto hide, that is, it should go away. So if I want to add a little bit of detail into this drawing, let's say for example we want to add an extra couple of lines in here and here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my layer properties, I'm going to make my hidden layer visible, I'm going to make it the current layer there. And what that's going to mean if I also hide this, that if I go to my line tool and I pick this end and I pick that end, 
you can see what's happened is I've drawn a line in that line. I've drawn a line in that line style. If I right click and I repeat my line, I'll do it again. See, so I'm constantly drawing within that layer's style. It's very, very useful. Again, if I want to put a center line through, a couple of center lines through this segment up here because it doesn't have them, I'll come back to my layer properties. I've got the center line here, I'll select that and I'll make it current. And then I'll auto hide that and I'll draw a line and I can see here I've got my center line available to me. So what I might have to do with that is turn on quadrant. Where's my object snap there? Turn on quadrant. And I'll start by drawing, oh, start by drawing from that quadrant to that one. And I will repeat my line from that quadrant through to that quadrant. And the way that I'll extend these lines is I'll grab hold of them, I'll take the grip and I'll extend that up by a small amount and I'll extend that line down by a small amount and I'll do the same with this center line as well there we go so I'll maybe move that back a little bit there we go and as I escape and I pull back you can see we've added in our two extra bits of detail there one of them on this blue layer which is the center line layer and one of them on this green layer, which was the hidden line detail layer. So that's really how we work with layers.